everybody. Uh, we are uh, Team V1, also known as the Dojo Toolkit Team. Um, on our team, we have uh, Michael, uh, Leslie, uh, David, which is me, Tom, and Ryan. And our mentor was Ryan, who's out in the audience there, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, since we're the Dojo uh, Team, it would probably be good to talk about what Dojo is, and Leslie's going to do that. So where is Dojo? Um, Dojo is an open source DHTML toolkit written in JavaScript. It has um, three different layers, the Dojo Core, um, Digit, and Dojo X. Um, the Dojo Core is the base JavaScript library that provides the standard functionality. Uh, Digit is the widget library built on top of the Dojo Core that provides accessibility functionality, and Dojo X allows for the visualization of data across different browsers. So why should you use Dojo? First, it has a built-in accessibility feature that Im implements the W3C REA, uh, which is the W3C Accessibility Initiative. Second, it provides full keyboard support to uh, websites. Third, it is open source so users are able to freely use it and allows for future development uh, and um, extension of the library. And lastly, it provides customizable widgets that have many different functionality. All right, so after we sort of looked at, uh, excuse me, I'm losing my voice here, by the way. Uh, after we looked at what Dojo was, we wanted to, uh, we put a lot of thought into what we would use it for. Um, and so um, at this point, we decided um, that we wanted to make a website where people could build accessible websites. Because Dojo itself is a, a toolkit that you can use to build accessible websites. But on its own, it's not really useful uh, for people uh, with disabilities. Um, you know, it requires lots of JavaScript and, you know, it had a, um, you know, there, there was a lot uh, to do that you really couldn't do. Um, it, it really just wasn't designed in an accessible way. Um, so essentially, our website uh, is an accessible website, but we like all accessible websites. Um, so, so, it leverages Dojo, but it hides the complexity. So we, we try to uh, get rid of get rid of some of the uh, difficulties of Dojo and uh, make it more simple. Um, and essentially what it's, uh, the site does is it makes uh, personalized pages, sort of reminiscent of uh, GeoCities. I don't know if you remember back in the day, people would you know, be able to drag and drop elements. Uh, you know, people would often make pages about themselves, put up links, uh, images, things like that. Um, and it's very importantly a simple design. Um, and we pay uh, very close attention to detail, and to show you that now, it's uh, probably a good time to give you a demo. Um, so we're going to transition to this machine here, where Ryan and Tom are going to give their demo. Uh, Ryan and I were kind of responsible for a lot of the, the front end kind of interface stuff for the user. Um, so just a couple of things while he's hooking up. Um, some things we try to pay attention for. Uh, through the design of the interface. Um, one thing, we, we wanted to make it really simple so it would be easy for anybody to just kind of go in, and whether you had a disability or not, just have very uh, easy buttons to access to add features to your page. Um, and we also wanted to make it you know, as easy as possible to customize things without having to go through lots of menus and clicking options and stuff like that. So we tried to make everything you know, either one or two two-step processes so it was easy to do. Um, I'm just going to try to throw it up here on the screen for you. It's going to adjust the resolution here. This is, this is a basic setup uh, that someone would be brought to you when they want to create a page. So the first thing when, when you get to uh, and notice there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of um, these are all buttons that are options for elements that you can add to your page when you're creating it. Um, by default, when you, when you start a new page, 
Um, you'll have a title set up there because we're assuming that everybody's going to kind of want a main header on the title. So to edit it, it just clicks. And then using one of these Dojo um, widgets, uh, it's very easily uh, um, customized here, where it's just uh, one click on it, and then the text is highlighted, and anything you type in thereafter replaces the text. So we kind of, um, so we have the, the title established there. Then to add something like a paragraph, we have another widget that allows us to put in um, multiple lines of text. And so it's the same kind of setup where it's just a one or two two step kind of process to easily substitute this in. So, uh, so it's easy to use. So we're gonna just put in some uh, example text here. We have save, save options and that'll um, lock it into the page there. Um, and we've also got these um, move up, move down, and remove options. So if you clicked on one of these, it would uh, move up, changes the position of, of that particular element on top of what's currently on top of it, and move down, puts it uh, below the thing that's immediately below. And remove, obviously, it just removes it from the page. So uh, we just have a, a thing to uh, insert a, just a nice little kind of style uh, page break there. Um, you can add additional headers by clicking on the, on the title, and after the original title is on the page, it will automatically go to the, go to the side there, so it's the style of the header. Um, Ryan's inserting an image right now with just like this easy pop-up box, um, and this is one of the SS12 uh, photos that we had uh, stored. And so this is kind of the basic uh, setup or process of how you create a page. Um, so Ryan's kind of moving around, changing the order of things right here. Um, and then another feature that we have right here is to get, a, to get an example of more what the HTML page would look like when you uh, publish it, you just click on publish here and it removes all those editing buttons from the screen. So this is more, um, more of what the actual HTML page would look like um, if you were to take this page and actually put it up online. And if you want to go back into editing mode, you just hit the publish button again, um, and it restores <coughs> these buttons so you can uh, change positions and, and remove things. Um, the other, the other big thing that we said is, uh, you know, this is a, an accessible site um, that works with uh, Jaws. Buttons provide advice and information about the website.